So let me get this straight. You thought that the very likely cancellation of the RTX 50 Super Series and the insane pricing of RAM was bad enough. Well, <laughs> It could get a lot worse. It will, probably. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Jawa. Jawa's mission is to be the community for safely buying and selling PC parts at a reasonable price, offering low fees and great customer service, which I can definitely attest to as I personally bought this RTX 3070 from Jawa anonymously. And not only did it arrive quickly, but when I ran into an issue, they immediately replaced it with a flawless substitute and asked that I only send the old one back after I confirmed the new GPU worked great. And the best part is the price I got this card at was well below a other listings I could find anywhere else, likely thanks in part to Jawa's much lower seller fees of 9 to 12 percent, depending on when you join. So, if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts on a platform with low fees and great customer service, be sure to click the link in the description below and watch out for some of my hardware that'll likely be popping up very soon. Okay, so look, yeah, th this <laughs> the whole AI boom is definitely kind of throwing, well, not kind of, that is definitely throwing a wrench into a lot of people's plans to build a PC. And well, I get why, because these data centers are absolutely gobbling up every single component they can get their hands on. And yeah, this is definitely leading to some major issues, such as in my last video we talked about, well, the RTX 50 Super Series is almost certainly canceled at this point in time, we've also had talks about how, yeah, the RAM prices are going through the roof. They're getting insane. And from what I understand, it's probably not going to recover until later 2026. Some people are saying not until 2028. So, wowee, is that great? Um, And then now to make matters worse, well, it looks like it's not going to stop there. Now, the first and a little bit less, well, depending on what components you're looking for, for PC gamers, maybe less important for you. For a lot of other people, maybe even more important. Uh, we'll get into GPUs in just a second, but the first one is apparently SSD prices might be going way up, like way up. So this information actually comes from PC Gamer and they state, quote, Kingston sounds the SSD pricing alarm as the company has seen a 246% increase in NAND wafer prices the biggest increase within the last 60 days. Now, I'll be sure to get you guys the link to the full article if you wanna read it, but yeah, I mean, if this turns out to be true, well, then we can probably expect that yes, SSD prices, they're probably going to be going up and possibly by a lot. Now, how much is it gonna be 246% more expensive to buy an SSD? I don't think so, but it could be potentially bad. Now, I will get you guys some affiliate links, of course. You know, I got a wheel and deal, listen, you know, <laughs> You know I gotta do it, but I'll get you guys some affiliate links to the best deals that I can find. Listen, if you can find some other better deals, be sure to let me know in the comments below, but I'll find the best deals I can and get you guys affiliate links to those in the description below. If you really feel like you wanna pick one up now, don't feel pressured to do so. If you got enough SSD storage, listen, these things, they tend to come and go in the PC space. I'm sure at some point SSDs will be a reasonable price again. And I don't think that necessarily SSDs are at their lowest price right now anyway, but it's not a bad time to buy. But you know, there's something else that might be a little bit scary and that's that apparently, well, NVIDIA might be cutting GPU production. Now, what does this mean? We'll get into this, but this information, it does come from videocards.com where they state, quote, NVIDIA may cut GeForce RTX 50 supply by 30 to 40% in the first half of 2026. Now, that's a little scary because that's a huge amount and it feels like GPU prices have just now finally reached a semi-reasonable price. They're getting down to their MSRP. In some cases, I saw GPUs below MSRP. Once again, I'll get you guys some affiliate links in the description below to what I believe are the best deals out there right now if you want to pick one up right now because yeah it might be a good time to pick up a GPU as well if you can get them for MSRP because if they cut the supply by 30 to 40 percent yeah this can make prices go up again which is not ideal obviously now do I think this is going to last forever probably not and here's another thing that I want to tell you guys so you're not in a total panic but I believe that some of this kind of makes sense and might be happening to a degree without AI now AI is obviously largely responsible, if not potentially, some people might even say solely responsible, I don't know, for the you know RAM and SSD pricing surge, that makes sense, and it's probably going to have a big impact on GPUs as well. However, NVIDIA cutting supply by 30 to 40% in 2026, 
2026 actually kind of makes sense to me because if you think about it, now maybe that's more than typical, but if you think about it, well, the RTX 50 series, it's been around for a long time and we got the 60 series coming in not that long. So, I mean, does it make sense to cut production next year? Probably yes, because look, at a certain point, demand for the current gen GPUs is gonna start to dwindle. That's probably going to be in 2026, as I do suspect 2027 will be the RTX 60 release. Now, I have seen some people stating that the RTX 5060 Ti and 5070 Ti are likely going to be affected the most. This does kind of lean towards the idea that, yeah, possibly we could be looking at AI having an impact here because if GDDR7 pricing is going up due to demand from AI, well, then that could also be part of the reason why the 16 gigabyte cards that are the cheapest are going to be seeing slightly less supply. That kind of makes sense, but I do think it's a little bit of both. I think NVIDIA probably would be cutting supply a bit anyway, but also, yes, AI is probably having an impact. So just do be aware that I don't think they're totally going to be abandoning the GPU market solely for AI. However, yes, this isn't looking good. Now, to be honest with you guys, I believe by 2027, this will probably all be resolved. But hey, I could be wrong. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Do you think that AI is really going to lead to GPU supply being cut very significantly? Or do you think this is going to be a temporary thing? Or maybe it's something that NVIDIA would typically do anyways. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. And also, yeah, me, me, maybe now would be a good time to buy a GPU and some SSDs and RAM if you were thinking of doing so already. Just don't rush into it if it's not within your budget or it's something that you don't necessarily need. Don't feel pressured. Stuff like this happens a lot. It's just hope that this time it doesn't last a long time because, yeah, crypto, that sucked. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.